Mike Sampson is a three. Mike Sampson is a three-year varsity letter winner in basketball and played for three different coaches in his four years at Carroll. Like most, he started with Bill Barnes, the legend, right down here. The historian, Bill Barnes, on the freshman team. Mike jumped to the varsity team as a sophomore and was coached by Jack Bruin, another legend. After Bruin departed for CU, Carol Holmes took over, another legend, and elevated the basketball renaissance on Harewood Road. Billy Barnes, I know you're here today, I saw you. The track must be closed. You must remember Mike Sampson's freshman year. You guided them to a 15-3 record, splitting the two-game series with DeMatha, St. John's, and Gonzaga. That second Gonzaga game, Mike was on fire, and the Lions rallied to force overtime. Gonzaga was clinging to a one-point lead with Carroll inbounding the ball under Gonzaga's basket. A quick pass found Sampson, and a couple dribbles later, had him at half court. Mike let it fly as time expired. Swoosh! The half-court game winner was good. Mike finished with 43 points and a Carroll legend was born. <laughs> Some of us Carroll boys became legends right away as freshmen. <laughs> Mike's growth continued over the next three years on the varsity team. He battled Jeff Baxter each day in practice and earned valuable playing time as a sophomore and was ready to take the team reins for new coach Carol Holmes in his junior year. In that 82-83 season, Mike pumped in 19 points to lead the Lions to a big win over Calvert Hall Baltimore, snapping the Cardinals' 38-game winning streak. Yeah. Oh, they were the wrong team that day. Teammate Fred Cunningham poured in 26 points to lead all Carroll scores. In that same season, the Lions would knock off St. John's, the DMV's top-rated team. The winning, I always like to hear about beating St. John's. <laughs> and the winning ways would spill over into Mike's senior year as Carroll down the Danny Ferry led to Matt the squad, 88-81 in overtime at Catholic U. Yeah, that was a legendary game. The two teams would split the regular season series, accounting for Carroll's only conference loss that season. The team featuring Derek Lewis, Fred Cunningham, and Sampson beat Wilson High in the D.C. City title consolation game to finish third in the city. Lewis, Cunningham, Sampson trio combined for an impressive two-year record of 43 and 16. Mike earned honorable mention all met and all conference WMAC honors as a, as a senior. Mike jumped right into American University starting as a freshman in the D1 program. He established two new school records his first season, most minutes played and most assists by a freshman. He wrapped up the year average eight and a half points and six and a half assists per game. Samson's name remains in the AU record books for games played, 109. Assists in a game, 13. Assists in a season, 184, and career assists, 505. We're hearing a lot about record books today, aren't we? Mike earned first team all Colonial Athletic Conference distinction as a senior, as well as Colonial Athletic Association all defensive team honors. He was voted American U's most valuable player in 1983-84. Chicago Bulls Summer League team in the USBL and overseas before returning home to forge a successful business career in pharmaceuticals and serving as CEO president of Sa Savaro. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah sure. I think I have stock in that. <laughs> Savaro Development Foundation. He is one of a group of owners of the VIP room and a proud father and grandfather. This morning, getting almost to be afternoon, we take pride in Mike Sampson and present him induction into the 2024 Archbishop Carroll Athletic Hall of Fame. <laughs> 